also on the online sticky note program, Lino, in five minutes or less. And this is Lino at ian.lino.com. And uh, Lino is similar to Wallwisher, which you can learn about here at Learn It In 5, but uh, with, with a few different features that you may enjoy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these away. I'm just going to click this check mark and I'm just going to go ahead and peel those away because I, I won't need those and we'll learn how to do this uh, using the palette over to the right. So I'll leave the rest and let's just say now I want to get started. I'm, I'm going to drag in a note right here and it pulls it out so that I can type something in. So let's say that I'm doing a project and this is great for projects in school because you can do so many things with it. Let's say I do a project on Learn It in 5 and uh, I am going to go ahead and post that. So uh, there, there's my note at the top that uh, tells me I can center it, I can move it around if I want. And uh, this is a project about Learn It in 5. So maybe I want to um, just get a little more text and this time I'll just pull in the green one and uh, let's say that I would like to just begin with maybe some summary information. So I've gone to Learn It in 5 and I've just copied some things from there and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paste those into my note and there's a there's a lot there a lot of things that I don't need that maybe it's a little bit big I could go ahead and come down here to font and reduce it um, and you know maybe I want to reduce it even more uh, maybe I don't like the black and white. Maybe I want to go to blue text. And uh, again, I can go ahead. I could tag it if I want and create a tag list. Uh, but I don't need to do that right now either. So I'll go ahead and post that. So now I've got, uh, as my project, I've got a tag up here or a post-it that says this is a project about Learn It In 5. Over here is some information with a link to Learn It In 5, which is nice. And uh, since Learn It In 5 is a how-to video site, why wouldn't I add some video? So let's say that I'm going to pull in a video tab. And you notice then that Lino gives me the opportunity now to paste in web addresses of, from various websites, uh, video sites, which is great. So if you're having your kids do things and they find YouTube video, or maybe they produce their own video and upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, and they want to share it, then this is a really great way to do it. So again, I've gone to Learn It in 5, I found one of their videos, and I, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I went to the YouTube address and got it. I'm going to paste it there and I'm going to go ahead and hit post. And now my video is embedded into my Lino uh, sticky board, which is really great. And you see back over here, there are different things that I can do on my uh, quick little canvas. So, you know, maybe I want to add a picture and it pulls it out and now I could browse for a photo that would support my project and once I browse I go to a folder where I have a picture and again if I'm doing this project and I'm presenting uh, the website Learn It in 5 I go and I get a, a picture and you could do that in a variety of ways and I've saved that and now I'm gonna go ahead and browse for that and just add it to my uh, Leno cork board or sticky board. I got a nice medium sized picture there and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna post that. And You notice that how Leno just nicely moves it aside. Now I can move it around if I want to but you know right now this is starting to shape up and you can see other things on the palette over here. This one is a, a file. Now you do have to be logged in for this so again it's free to log in and, and to register but uh, I could pull in a file from my computer and now this would be really great for projects as well so you might want to do that and then what becomes really powerful about this is now I can share it so I come up here share this canvas now I, I can share it with social media I can use Twitter I can use Facebook I can use Google so as you can see Lino is a very powerful tool uh, it is here at in.leno.com and you can get started or get your students started right away. Give it a try.